Hello guys, this is Johan Vosblom. Welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today we are going to set up SDL with the code blocks. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And in the previous tutorial we installed code blocks and it includes the 32-bit version of uh, main GW and the same uh, and we also set up the 64-bit version. And today we're going to download SDL and I'm going to show you how to set it up for for use with code blocks. So we start by going to libstl.org here. This is the front page and we can go and you click here on SDL 2.0 or 2.0. And you go to this link here, SDL devil uh, 2.0.10 mean GW tar.gz. Click that. I'm going to save this into the downloads folder. There's also some other libraries you want to have with SDL, and uh, you will find them here in uh, libsdl.org uh, slash projects. So if you go here, you will find the other other things that <coughs> you can combine with uh, SDL. And there's three libraries you want to grab from here. The first one is the SDL image here. I have the link here. SDL image devil. We want to have the development library. So just download this file here as well. I'm going to go back and you also want to grab the SDL mixer. This is for playing music and sound effects in your game. Let me download this one here as well. Save that into the download folder. And finally, if you want to use TTF fonts, you grab this one as well. Uh, though you're not going to, going to download SDL net because this is now you say it's out of date uh, this does not support IPv6 so uh, if you're making games you want to make sure that they run on every system and uh, then you can't use SDL, SDL net here because it doesn't support IPv6 so but there's a new uh, there's a tutorial coming up where uh, I'm going to show you how to create a simple server and client Okay, so now we grab, we've got the files, and uh, you can see the the file <laughs> the file format is tar.gz. So you will need to be able to unpack this, and you can either use WinRAR, which I'm using in this tutorial, or you can download Win Seven uh, Zip here. Seven Zip uh, Seven Zip is a bit more annoying because you have to download this, uh, the things in. Uh, sorry, you have to extract the file into steps, but with WinRAR you just open the file and it's gonna show you the contents right away. So let's go grab our downloads folder here. And as you can see here, I uh, WinRAR installed already. So I just double click the file and I get the contents here. So I'm just gonna unpack different folders here first. And I think I can click all of them and right click and say extract here. And we have all the folders extracted immediately. So, and we are going to do <coughs> like so. We're going to bring another window up as well. Here, we're going to create a new folder here. It's going to store the 32 bit. Thirty-two bit SDL libraries. I'm going to make folders for this because it's good to have in, in the future. To not a which makes it easier to not be have to unpack everything again. We start with 32 bit here, and we're gonna start with SDL2 here. And there's two folders in uh, here now that, that are interesting. It's these, these two here the i686 uh, w64. This is the 32 bit version, and the x86 underscore 64. This is the 64-bit version of SDL. We're gonna unpack all these things here first. If I just drag here, you see I'm, I'm moving them, but if you press Control, you're just gonna copy them over. So I'm just gonna copy them in there by holding down Control. I'm gonna do this for the these four libraries here. Hold Control. So I'm unpacking everything to get the same into the structure here. And we can grab the mixer here as well. 
unpacked and ready. Things go so fast that copy. And here's there's some files that are the same basically. And you just click replace. It's just like an info file. And it's been copied over. And that was the 32 bit libraries. Now let's get the 64 bit one set up as well. Copy from the x86 64 folder here. It unpacks so quickly that I, even I don't see it on the screen here. Like so, and now we have the 32-bit and the 64-bit library set up here. So, and we want to go to C, and C colon, and uh, property files, uh, sorry, program files, x86, code blocks, and main, D, main DW here. And you see here we have the include folder and, and the structure here, I, th I believe, the bin, include, lib, and share. So we're going to go to the 32-bit library folder. And folder we created. I'm just gonna grab these and drop them in here. Just gonna copy them by holding down control, like so. Continue. Do this for all files. So now we have copied in the 32-bit libraries. Now we're gonna go to the oh sorry into the main GW64 folder here, and you might think that you should unpack it into these guys here, but that's wrong. You have to go into this x86-64 folder here. And this is where you want to place the things. So, I'm going to grab these here from the 64-bit folder here and copying them over. So you have to put them in here, x86-64-w64-ming underscore dash dash min gw32. So this is the folder you, you put them in. Cool. So that is how you set up uh, code blocks for compiling with uh, SDL. You have to copy the folders into the right, right place here. So in the next tutorial, we'll see what we'll do. Some simple SDL setup just to make sure everything's working. So thank you for watching and have a good time. Bye bye.